The thing is, when you have a mini Beano, you rather like it, so you want an emergency Beano and you want to book more leave. However, uh, leave is already booked. So, Tuesday the 19th of February 2019, 0635 hours. And it's getting light. That's rather good. And the 50 to Newport obs. And so we start. It's an interesting day already. Not a great selection. Walk to open brewery. So moving on to the lorry. I'm drinking that. And apart from that, all the spoons in the central Newport, the Morgan Breweries, must have done a deal anyway at 3.8% alcohol by volume, very sessionable, very tasty. But come on, Weatherspoons, variety, the spice of life. I think it was B plus in a bit. Whatever. I do like a branded glass. And I've gone from Cast to Kev. Punk IPA, 5 point something. Slightly too cold, no doubt. I'm going to warm up, put my hands on the glass, that sort of thing. Um, and then after that, off to the pen and wig. Yay. Uh, I don't know what this was, A minus probably. Age. I do like a punk IPA. Okay, so moving on to the white one. Okay, have a look at the bottom of the glass. There's something going on. Anyway, this isn't from Glamorgan Brewing, this is from Box Steam. This is Piston, P I S T O N, broke, play on words, 4.5% alcohol by volume, Piston broke. Not at this time of day. Um, sitting in the window, which is nice. With a B in that, which is unusual. Mm. Malty, slightly sweet, pleasant, B. Plus. Still like to know what's going on with the glass. Here's a thing. It's a thing, and like with Molly Wood and Tom Merritt, these are the new beer glasses, and they have beer written on them. Pint glasses. This is Camden Pale Ale, who's currently owned by someone big and not very nice and whatever. Uh, Four percent alcohol by volume, but look at the glass. That is a corker, and it's still not raining. It smells very hoppy. Oh, that's not bad. It's a bit cold, but it's hoppy, fruity, tropical, and it will get better. And I'm thinking B plus plus, and I will be castigated. It's A B Inberg. I don't know what to say. However, the beer's good. I'm not judging on the beer. A plus plus. Time for the finest chips in the port. I'm not sure about the clouds. Meeting with the chief. In the tones, teenage kicks, and drinking stay cup, which is a marshmallow porter at 5.2% alcohol by volume. I'm waiting for a chief. Ooh, deliveries. Anyway, um, different table. No power. You know. Oh, this is nice. Okay, it's a keg. 
but it is it's pretty much marbly and tasty and has a bit of finish and I like it D plus and a bit like that and true they're from Bristol I like Bristol Xanadu Acid IPA 5.5% Let's go back to this thing. Okay. Fruity. Fruity, not tropical. Aroma. Mmm. Very fruity body. Slightly sweet. Yes, it comes in the finish. Sharp and bitter. I'll say B plus in a bit. That's not bad. And it does take the a bit. Just had a word. Um, apparently there's no word on Brewfest, which I think means no Brewfest this year, which is a shame. Anyway, going to reach on, this is Magellanic Clouds, a table beer from Norway, Lurvig. 3.5% alcohol by volume. I could drink this all day. Although music take down, etc. Mm, slight aroma. Fruity, acidic, very bitter. Must be plus in a bit. Dot no. I like that. It's full of yeast. Look at all that yeast falling down. This is can conditioned. I mean, there's tons of it. Um. We had a bit of Google Translate going on here. It's from Lurvig from Norway. Pearly for spin. Pearls before swine. It's like, forget swine then. There's tons of yeast before tons of yeast. Wow. Okay, it's still at it. Look. Yes, he's still got that. Anyway, it tastes a little bit yeasty, who'd have thought. It's very fruity in the aroma. Fruity. Malty and sweet. I'd give it a B plus plus just for the yeast bouncing all over the place. Who knew?